Hi, and welcome back to Jen and Dan's Natural Healing with Plants. I am Jennifer, Master Herbalist and Health Educator, and I'm here with my great friend, Dan. Well, thank you, Jennifer. My name is Dan, and I am a uh, Master Herbalist, Exercise Specialist, and uh, I think we have a good topic today, don't we, Jennifer? Indeed. We just, we're doing this one right off the cuff because it's something that is so close to both of us and we, it, we you know sometimes when we those topics pop up and they just really spark something and I think that sometimes it can come into a heated debate sometimes it just lots of energy around this anyway it's you know why do we get stuck why do we not do the work like we want to change we want to make these things happen but then for some reason we, there's something else that we're attracted to um, for instance, um, so both of us have a lot of childhood trauma, a lot of things that we um, are trying to work through. And, you know, those things, those can keep you from, from getting the complete healing, you know, especially like um, for me, some of the autoimmune disease, um, sometimes we have to get to the root. And a lot of times people say, well, you know, you have to stop eating gluten and stop eating dairy and you need to do a cleanse and the stuff. And those things are great. And sometimes those things really do help people who are new to having something. Um, but sometimes the root is, it goes so much deeper. And to get to that, we really have to dig deep. And sometimes that involves things like um, releasing stored trauma, releasing stored emotions. And I, you know, that's seems to be a lot in the news and around the world and, you know, and anywhere we you look, you're seeing more and more about stored trauma. And so a lot of people think that's woo woo or whatever, but I really think that it's true. And I know it's true for me. Um, I, I teach a, a cleanse. I have one that starts next week and I'm not here to promote that. I'm here to tell you about the cleanse because that's really what really changed me and my health. And the way we do it is we start off just with a regular like reset you know like you go through the cleanse and you just do a reset eating really clean food so for most people um, this wasn't my case but for most people just eliminating inflammatory foods for a week or two can make such a big difference but you go through the cleanse once and you do that and the next time you go through it you start adding supplements and so you do like dr christopher's cleanse which is what dane and i have both done we both are trained in um, his cleanse and so you add that and you go a little bit deeper and each time you go deeper for me i get really emotional i get really emotional and it's because i have so much stored emotions i'm one of those people who just bites their tongue grits their teeth i've been silenced way too long um, and so i think that those things just really they keep us from moving forward. And so I know I need to go deeper. I know I need to do more than another cleanse or another, you know, I've, the, I've mastered the food. No one can eat better than me. I've mastered the food. I've mastered the cleanse. I've done a million parasite cleanse, but I haven't done the deep trauma work. And I know that's what I need to do. But instead of that, I go, oh, here's another class. I can learn more about brain health. I bet my brain's been affected by all of this too. I should learn about the brain now instead of going to learn about the trauma. And so this is what we were talking about this. And I was like, you know what? That's our topic. Let's hop on the phone. And so, and we're not on my phones anymore. I'm so old. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> where, what are you thinking about all this? Oh, it just makes so much sense, Jennifer. You know, we've, <laughs> it's the trauma, it's the trauma, it's the stuff, the hard stuff. And I don't know if there's anybody in the world that doesn't have some form of trauma and it holds them back and it, it holds them back in so many ways. Like for myself, you know, you know, we're in this field trying to help other people, but I'm in the same boat as you are. I mean, I, I ate good. I always lift my weights and ride my bicycle, but my emotional trauma, I don't do anything about it. Cause you, you know, I, I don't think that I, I'm afraid that I can't do anything. I don't know how to let go of these traumas that I have and I know that there 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 are ways to do it there's a actually a book called the body keeps the score it's written by a medical doctor you heard this book yes he talks about what we're talking about he's got techniques to help you but guess what I haven't even read it to get to that point because for some reason I'm just not ready and so when I start feeling stressed out about my business 
or whatever's going on in my life at the time, one things one of the things that I do is I'll binge on maybe say buy, I like bicycles. So I'll, I'll look at bicycles online and imagine about buying this bicycle one day or a guitar or something like that. Anything to distract me from the <laughs> crap that's going on. It, it, can you relate with it? What are you like you're saying? Absolutely. Your yes. Yeah. Yes. And yes. so um, one of the things that we were talking about was, you know, um, we have, we have clients that do this as well. Like we, uh, the clients have mastered, you know, everything as far as the food goes and, and the cleansing and doing the supplements and they're willing to do more and they want to keep doing more cleansing and looking more at their food. And you have to step back and go, okay, you've mastered all this. You're dealing with X, Y, and Z. I mean, I can see, I can see the pain in your face. I can see the clenched draw, jaws. I can see all of these things. You ha- you need to work through these things. So let's work on these things now. And they agree, you know, and they, they get emotional and they're like, yes, I know I need to work on this, but let's do this cleanse. Let's look more. And they go right back to that. You know, let's go to this um thing here have you watched this what about this doctor have you watched his thing whatever and that that's not what you need to do i can see it in you because i can see it in myself i i am the same way i know i need to do i need to dig deeper yeah in some ways people are are mirrors of each other because a lot of us go through similar things in our lives and Mm-hmm. obviously the hardest thing i mean the stuff that we do we teach plant-based diet we teach herbs we teach exercise most people can do that but the mm-hmm. trauma facing our fears yes that is the heart it's like the you, you remember i know we're older but you do you remember um oh my god what was that movie when we were kids it was called um oh my god <laughs> It had It'll like the, <laughs> the white dragon in it. And it was, uh, this kid was reading a book. It was the, anyway, the hero in the story, he was, uh, it, it, one, one of his journeys was he was, he came to the swamp. It's called the swamp of despair. And so mm-hmm. he was walking through the swamp and he starts to sink in the water. And it was like mm-hmm. quicksand mm-hmm. because he had these, he was holding on to trauma. And if you don't let go of your trauma, you die in this swamp of despair. Yeah. And so it's basically all of us like, hey, I know that my health could be a lot better. I mean, I got, I have good health, but my health could be so much better if I could get out of my own despair. Exactly. And like you, 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 we're both professionals at this and every client that we get, they all have some, something they're working through. Right. And that's really the main thing that's holding them back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the fear that sets that really sits with me. I yeah. um I know like for me, I'm one of those people that blocks. And so like if something bad happens, it just somehow I, I block it from my memory. And so other family members, they tell me stories about things that happened that I didn't remember. And so now I remember them from their stories, but I don't actually remember them. And I'm afraid. There's the fear. If I do the deep work, then I am going to remember those things and I, I don't want to remember them. And so it's like, how is there a way? And I don't know. And maybe somebody listening knows, you know, how can you work through it? How can you process the emotions? How can you let everything go without bringing back those memories? Or do you have to, is that going to happen? You know? Uh, that's a good question. And I can see where the fear is because reliving those uh, painful events. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh God, who wants to do that? Right. But if there is like, if there is somebody listening and they know how to get rid of these traumas, I'd be willing to go through the pain again. If there was a good chance that I would be done with it once and for all. Yes. And get on my, <laughs> it's holding me back. Yes. That's it's right. holding me back. You know? And a lot of us, what, and some of the things we may not even know that is our trauma, but we do things like we take the job that we really don't want to work because we don't feel like we're good enough to get something that we really want to do. We could have a spouse that we aren't really happy with, but we stay there because out of fear again, or we're not worthy of somebody better because 
we don't think we're good enough. I mean, I've heard it all. Right. There's, but everybody has a different trauma. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, man. It's the thing is, I, I, there's some guy listening to He says, everybody is messed up. It's just that some people are better at hiding it than other people are. Amen. So don't think you're alone. None of us are, we're, we're all in this together. Life can be hard and we're all going to get scarred. So. Yeah. 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 I know um, recently someone, um, I was trying to talk to somebody and they completely cut me off and wouldn't let me talk. And I kept saying, will you please let me talk? And for those of you who know me, know me well, no, I, I don't, I don't yell and scream. Um, and so I, I felt myself getting all heated and all of a sudden the waterworks started and I just started crying. I cried for hours. I cried for hours. This person was still talking to me, still belittling me, still not letting me talk. And I was standing there. Why didn't I get up and walk away crying? And I just cried and cried. And afterwards I still cried. And it's like, I know it's because there's just so much in there that needs to come out. And I was tired of being you know, cut off, tired of being told to be quiet, you know? Yes. Yeah. And so, you know, how, how far back does that go? How deep is that? Oh, way back, I would think. And it's also mm -hmm. you standing there and you feel like you didn't have a voice. I think that's learned behavior because when we were children, if you said anything, you might get murdered. Exactly. I mean, seriously, you know, or get beat right. or get beaten really bad right and it's, you know i've heard a lot i'm sorry I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off yeah go ahead i've heard a lot about that with uh, people with um, autoimmune thyroid it's because you haven't been able to use your voice mm -hmm. and i know in my own personal in my business you know especially when it comes to marketing and and stuff like that i i go to the safe things to say you know the things i know i won't get hand slapped for or whatever it's like if i just play it safe and don't really speak my truth then everything's safe and isn't that funny that i'm using the word safe too it is funny yeah and the reality of this is there really is no such thing as safety think about it That's as true. long as we're human beings mm -hmm. sooner or later we're going to face some dangers that we have no control over so i think that mm -hmm. And look, we're talking to each other, but we're also talking to our, you know, our listeners. But I, I came to the conclusion lately that even if we're scared, because I'm getting sick of being this way. I don't know about you, Jennifer. I'm getting sick oh, of yeah. holding trauma. It's just like holding yeah. me back, you know? Right. 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 You're not being who you're truly meant to be. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we do things we don't want to do. I don't know about you, but I have a hard time saying no to anything, even if I want to do it. Cause I feel like if I say, if I say no, I'm not being the, a good guy. You know what I mean? Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be mad at me. They're not going to like me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. part of trauma too, is how many people live their life based on what other people might think of them. If they do something they want to do, Oh my God, what will my neighbor think? Who cares? Yes. They're not living yes. your life. You you are living your life. You know what I mean? Right. Well, one of my my good coaches, um, Dr. Michelle Mocart. So shout out to Dr. Michelle Mocart. I hope you're listening. Um, was you don't have the right to decide what other people think about you. And that <laughs> struck me. That really struck me because you know, we're constantly thinking if I tell them this or say that, or you know, if I put this out there these people are going to think this, you don't have the right to decide what they're going to think. That is, that is, that's awesome. That's so good. Yeah. And think about this. You just said that. And of course I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but it, was, it was related to that. You have the but... right to say it. You can say yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. But how many of us are living in quiet desperation? Mm -hmm. We're not being the people we want to be. We live in this little prison that we made for ourselves. Right. We're not, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with some parts of my life, but there's things that I want to do. 
Mm -hmm. that I'm not doing because of my trauma. And I'm telling you, I'm going to figure this thing out because I want to move forward in my life, you know, because it could be even better. Right. I want to help so many more people. I want to help so many more people before I check out of this planet, you know? Right, right. But right. first, we got to help ourselves get out of this mental yes. mush. Yes. And, you know, I think we hit on the key there. So when we're, I know for both of us, when we work with clients, we're always um, digging deep. We're looking for the root, you know, we don't, it's not going to be just slapping something on. We're not going to give you herbs because you have a stomach ache. We're going to find out why you have the stomach ache. And maybe it's something physical. Uh, maybe it's something that you stored. Maybe your pain is in your stomach. I know we were just talking about that yeah. uh, feeling, feeling it in your, in your stomach. And it might not be related to the food. People think it's the food, but it's something that goes a lot deeper and we have to really um, get in there. And I know one of my values is in integrity. That's one of my values. And I'm not really living in integrity if I'm always hiding who I really am. You know, yeah. it's really, you know, being out, getting out there, being who you are and, and using your talents. Yes. And serving others with your talents and your passion, putting your passion and purpose together. They're so important. And so we really have to. So, I mean, what kind of weird circle have we gone in today in this this talk? But it all comes down to, you know, we do need to release these things. We do have to do the hard work. And you know, that's what's holding people back. We don't want to do the things because we're afraid. But if, if we're afraid, for me, I can only talk for myself. I'm afraid to do the work. But if I do the work and I do release these emotions and I do do the things in spite of my fear, then I may actually become who I'm really supposed to be. Yes. And that person that you're supposed to be is going to touch the lives of a lot of other people. Because if we say stuck in our own crap, how many people are we going to leave behind that needed us? Because I really believe that we're spiritual beings and we're put here for soul missions. And there's people that we're supposed to help, but we had to get through our own stuff so we can get to them. Right. So I, I've left a lot of people behind so far because I've, I've worked with people, but I'm not out there like I need to be yet. And that is, mm -hmm. it's very yes. urgent. I feel it's very urgent now. I feel it. And mm -hmm. whatever it is that you have, anybody listening, all of us have special things, special talents we're supposed to share with other people. Use your talents. If, if you're blocked, you got to mm -hmm. figure out what the block is and remove it. Yes. Yes. Otherwise, maybe it's affecting you financially or in your business right now, but it will start affecting your health. And if oh, yeah. you are in poor health, that may be the one key, that one thing that we need to get out of the way. Oh, yeah. I, I heard that 80% of health problems are related to stress. 80%. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the movie is the never ending story. And I <laughs> yes. It. I can't think I of the name it. either. <laughs> the swamp of despair. It is so symbolic. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We had to get out of the swamp of despair. Yes. 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 Yeah. Well, thank you. I think this was a really great topic. And so for those of you listening, please um, let us know what you think about this and let us know um, what your thoughts are on stored traumas and releasing stored traumas and and how and stored emotions and you know how do stored emotions affect you in your daily life as well and we want to learn more obviously we're neither one of us are experts in this and we both want to know more about this so please let us know and thank you for joining us today subscribe to our channel um, and share with your friends